my husband has asked me to make him a face mask. Um, and I quite fancy making one out of a t-shirt and seeing if I can do it um, with only hand stitching for those of you who don't have a sewing machine. The beauty of a t-shirt is that A, it doesn't fray, B, we've all got them. And if you can't get elastic, you could use, create a um, loop out of the t-shirt. So I'm going to start by cutting off the hem. Right, so could now a lot of people just do them like that and then put loops through and just put them on without. Curing the sort of the no stitch t shirt method. Let me show you that. So you fold it in, t shirt in, and then you just put your elastic through. So you could use a strip of your t shirt. Not every t shirt. Um, rolls but this one does so that's about an inch if you pull your t-shirt like that it can curl so lots of people are doing this very simple no sewing method tying a knot each side and putting it on like that I was thinking about making a channel to put this through to make it a little bit more secure. I folded it over like that. You could then hand stitch down here and here, which would secure it all together. And then you could thread through your loop or elastic or string through here and this would hold all together. And then if you wanted to, you could put a filter in between the layers. Thread, matching thread. Make my channel quite wide. It's about a centimetre, a bit wider than that. So um, probably half an inch if you're an inch person. Now, if you have a sewing machine, you could stitch this on a sewing machine, but because it's knit fabric, you don't want to use a zigzag stitch, or if your sewing machine's got a stitch designed for stretch fabric, then use that. So I'm going into through the fabric and up. So there's the thread coming out from the previous stitch. So I'm going back and then going forward. Back from where my thread came up before, forward in front of it. So I've stitched down both sides. So it's time to add elastic to these loops we've created. You can either use a hair grip, which I think would work. Perhaps not, because of the volume it might. Oh, that's the danger of um, overlapping in the middle. You might have to fiddle to get through this bit where your layers overlap to make sure that you stay in your channel. You'll use a safety pin, I think that'll be easier.
Okay. So the beauty of this method is that if, if your elastic stretches over time, you can replace it. Or string or whatever you're using. And then tie. I've just gone for a size that looks appropriate. Of course, everybody's ears, yeah, so that's going to be too long, I think. Or different. Of course, once you've got the length of size that's right for you, once you've tried it on and fitted it, you can hide your knot inside of here. So let's check the fit. The size is definitely too long, it's going to be short than that. That fits nice and snug. Under the chin, around the nose. I wasn't sure how close to the skin it would be across here because some of the face masks are wire me. I'm quite happy with that. Can you see? And I think the length is probably about, it's a little bit loose for me, probably right for my husband. Enjoy your face mask making.